welcome to today's video. I'm Gary Wiryawan and today we are still in Seattle, Washington, United States. We're going to take a walk today and we're going to explore some locations. Currently, we are in the Pike Place Market here. It's a very famous tourist destination and we're going to explore some uh, areas right here, maybe take some pictures here and there. And because this is quite a crowded place, I don't want to draw too much attention when taking pictures. So I'm going to use my other vlogging camera to capture the behind the scene process of how I photograph some of the scenes that I will take right here. Anyway, this is part of my everyday photography challenge and this is like an exercise time for me to uh, sort of try to force myself to take pictures almost every day as frequently as I can and just uh, try to be very mindful to make an effort to photograph. Anyway, you can join uh, this everyday photography challenge. You can go to the link right here or on the card above to submit your own picture. Now let's continue with today's video. All right, so just trying to take a very simple scene right here. We have the uh, Seattle skyline behind us right here, and we want to try to take a picture of these buildings right here. Problem is, it's quite a crowded area. As you can see, there are so many people. So I want to try to isolate on just the building. I'm using the GX85 and 12 to 32 right now. I'm going to try to find a composition that I like by zooming in a little bit, maybe to about 18. Let's try 18 or maybe 25. Aperture priority f5.6, 25mm uh, auto ISO, auto everything. We got something like this. Right, looks kind of cool. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Alright, what about that building right there? It looks kind of interesting. Let's try. It's 32mm by the way. And let's try to capture that one right there. I'm at about 20mm. Let's try something like this vertical composition and maybe that area right there i saw something maybe at about 25 millimeter nice i'm still at f5.6 trying to keep everything else automatic i'm just focusing on the compositions it's quite sunny today it's quite unusual for seattle to be this sunny even on spring as i used to live here before and yeah i'm just enjoying the weather and just trying to take some nice pictures here and there all right all right so now i switch i switch lens to the 35 to 100 millimeter but as you can see uh, there's so much construction going on on the harbor area on the uh, waterfront area so it's kind of difficult for me even with a telephoto lens to just uh, kind of focus in one small uh, kind of framing i try to uh, take this merry-go-round right here but it's kind of difficult so I'm going to try to uh, take the uh, area right there just trying to zoom into about 100 millimeter and try to get a compressed kind of uh, photograph right here let's try uh, the uh, stadium right there with this composition f5.6 100 millimeter aperture priority I'm zooming out just a little bit to about maybe 90 millimeter all right something like that and let's try this uh, waterfront area with those hills uh, West Seattle area a little bit I'm at about 50 millimeter let's try vertical composition very simple one something like this yep really nice let's try to take some of the hills right here it's West Seattle area very simple nothing much going on maybe let's try that harbor area on the other side of the lakefront or the waterfront something like this maybe let's try to capture the mountain but it's too far away even for my 100 millimeter but we'll just try we'll just try yeah too far away all right
I just want to try to explain my gear situation a little bit so that you have a better understand about my travel camera and lens situation so for the camera I'm using as usual my Panasonic GX85 this guy right here and I'm mostly shooting in either aperture priority or if I'm doing street photography I will put it in shutter priority the S mode right there and just set the shutter speed pretty high to about 320 or 500 or if I'm outdoor in a bright sunny day like right now then maybe 1000 is good enough to capture uh, the motion and to freeze the action while I'm doing uh, street photography and for the lens I'm using the Panasonic 12 to 32 millimeter this little guy right here most of the time sometimes I'm using my telephoto lens as well I have with me right now the Panasonic 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 this guy right here this is such a fantastic lens if you want to try to isolate something or you want to photograph something far away usually with telephoto lens it's big it's bulky and it's not easy to travel with but with the 35 to 100 Panasonic lens it's so small look at this guy right here it's so lightweight so this is perfect telephoto lens for travel many people say it's the 14 to 140 millimeter but I'll say this guy right here is a much better travel lens because of the smaller size and the lighter weight even combined with the 12 to 32. Alright so we are currently in the Seattle center and behind me as you can see that's the Space Needle Tower the famous tower from Seattle and today we're going to explore a little bit right now some photograph opportunities right here I want to try to take pictures of the tower and maybe see what else that I can photograph around this area let's go all right so for this trip I don't carry a wide angle lens with me like the Lawa 7.5 millimeter or the 8 to 18 millimeter because I'm trying to keep everything very very lightweight photography is not the main purpose of this trip so I'm just left with the 12 to 32 millimeter of the lens right here and I want to try to capture uh, the space needle right here so obviously I cannot capture it all the way from bottom to top so I'm just going to try my best to uh, uh, at least capture the top part of the tower so we're gonna try that 12 millimeter f5.6 aperture priority something like this really nice I like it I want to step back a little bit and try to frame the tower using a little bit of the three branches on the top of the uh, frame right there as you can see above above me there are some trees that I can use to help frame the tower something like this the weather's been really nice today I really love it I'm going to move a little bit so that I can employ these two trees into my advantage to help frame the tower better and step forward a little bit all right Alright, so we are in the top of the Space Needle Tower and we're trying to get some pictures of this beautiful downtown Seattle with the Bay Area and that harbor area. So I only uh, want to use the 12 to 32 millimeter on the GX85 and I'm going to try to find some compositions where I can try to get that frame right there uh, of the skyline, the harbor, a little bit of the cruise ship maybe, we'll see. Um, I'm at uh, probably 16 or 15 millimeter so I'm going to try to go a little bit tighter maybe I want to focus just on the skyline and the bay area first let's try something like this f5.6 ISO 200 nothing too complicated we're getting as close as we can to the glass so that we don't have too much reflection something like this all right really nice I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go a little bit wider and then crop it to 16 by 9 yeah, this is about 18 millimeter or 17 or thereabouts let's go even wider to about 12 something like this we're gonna crop the bottom part of the image later on really nice all right all right so one more picture just trying to focus on that you know boat parking area with the hill on the right and also the mountain behind I'm at 32 millimeter. Let's try this composition right here. All right, all right. 
very simple one all right one more but this time i'm using telephoto lens 35 to 100 i'm at about 60 let's try the same composition earlier but this time it's tighter oh i think i kind of like it let's try a vertical let's try not to forget to include the mountain behind that looks really nice from far away Right, so now we are in the Queen's Ain area and this is the Kerry Park and as you can see right there that's the Seattle skyline from another vantage point so we're going to photograph the skyline during this golden hour so yeah let's go and uh, shoot the uh, uh, scenery right now all right so I have the 12 to 32 millimeter right now and as you can see uh, the light is currently very beautiful right now it's golden hour and we can see the Space Needle the Seattle skyline right there and right now at 12 millimeter I think it's a little bit too wide but we're going to take it anyway let's zoom in to about 25 I think this is the perfect focal length for this picture right here right I hope you can see what I'm doing in the camera going to raise the camera a little bit going to zoom in a little bit further maybe 28 or 30 something like this wow beautiful beautiful now this is 32 millimeter maybe a little bit too tight but you can see the building more clearly all right another different vantage point right now still with the same camera and same lens i'm going to try to capture it slightly more to the right on the right you don't have that house with the chimney as earlier so i'm going to uh, go ahead and zoom a little bit to 25 millimeter f 5.6 aperture priority i'm going to keep the horizon right in the middle the space needle tower slightly more to the right going to zoom out just a little bit to probably 20 millimeter something like this the light is so beautiful right now it's golden hour there are lots of photographers here on the uh, Queens A in Kerry Park very nice I'm going to zoom in very close now to 32 millimeter this lens goes to 32 millimeter and I think it looks really nice right now all right, so I switch lens to the 35-100, my favorite te telephoto lens right now. And I want to try to get a close-up of the Space Needle Tower right there with the 35-100. to 100. That's the sole purpose of this lens today. And let's zoom in. I'm about 70 millimeter. I'm going to go a little bit tighter. So as you can see, there's a little bit of that tree on the bottom part of my frame. And I want to use that as sort of a foreground so yes something like this slightly tighter this is maxed out at 100 millimeter all right so i'm going to end the vlog right now uh, this is already almost sunset and we're pretty tired we're gonna go back to the hotel but we had a pretty fun day here at seattle we're going to miss Seattle so much because I used to live in Seattle as well. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that today's video are inspiring and also makes you want to go out and take more pictures with you. Uh, don't forget to uh, participate in the Everyday Photography Challenge. I will put the link once again right here. You can submit your picture. It uh, doesn't have to be anything that's really perfect or anything. Uh, just something that you really make an effort and try to put some thoughts into your photograph anyway don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below thank you and goodbye